Hi everyone, today we have our PTO Pro webinar, so thank you so much for joining us. My name is Marina and I am co-founder at PTO and I am very happy to share all my knowledge and uh, demonstrate my practical skills how to use PTO and I hope this will help you to work more effectively with PTO. But let's speak briefly about what we are doing at PTO. At PTO we are bringing the power of computer vision and uh, artificial intelligence into the agriculture, forestry and aquaculture. And um, this is our goal to make these advanced tools uh, available for smallholder farmers, for researchers, for growers who are looking for this. And that's why we are here to democratize your access to uh, the most innovative tool which can help you to get better data about qualitative and quantitative parameters of your plants and your food produce, your fish, your shrimps, uh, what you need to measure and to understand their plant health and assess the uh, growth rate. Uh, let's uh, briefly explain the agenda for today. Uh, firstly, I will show you a presentation, just a few slides about PTO, and then I will uh, demonstrate in practice using my phone how to use PTO Pro and hopefully it will help you. So let's start. Let's start and the first thing is to share my screen with you. So give me a second, please. Uh, give me just a second. Yes, here we are. So I hope, oh no, it's not the first slide. Yeah, here we are. I hope you can see my my slides. Yes, uh, that's good. So first of all, uh, as I explained to you, this is our main mission to be a uh, number one super app for people who need uh, to get these insights uh, about their plants and about their crops. And when we are speaking about current state of our platform. We are answering two main questions. So first question is what is leaf area? What is the size of leaf? And the second question is about what is the chlorophyll status of the plant and uh, how high or how low is the nitrogen level uh, in the plant? And uh, to answer these two questions, we have specific modules in our PTO Pro. And these modules are leaf area module and DGCI module. Sorry for this abbreviation. If you hear it first time, I understand it sounds quite scary, <laughs> but um, it's, it's not too difficult. So we will explain in more detail. So firstly, regarding leaf area, um, I will. I, I don't want to tell you all the story why it's very important to measure leaf area because we have other videos and some other resources where you can uh, get this information. So my task today is here just to explain you that it's possible to measure leaf area, not just using traditional methods like image or grid paper or handheld. Uh, leaf area meters like liquor, uh, vinfolia, or uh, other, other types of um, handheld stuff which you can use in different way. Uh, it's possible to use mobile applications as well. Mm -hmm. And you will see how to do this effectively today. And then the second part is about DGCI. It's the abbreviation for dark green color index dark green color index. It's all about greenness of leaf. So again, there are plenty of information about the importance of, uh, of chlorophyll and how it uh, impact the uh, photosynthesis. And you, so, so you can go there and uh, read in more details about that. But my task is to tell you that it's possible to get understanding of nitrogen status of plant using a smartphone camera and a little bit more it's like this calibrating pads but let's wait for a second yeah but i mean that it's possible you don't need to buy spot for one thousand dollars or any other extremely expensive equipment 
and you don't need to wait in a queue for three weeks to use this pod for one hour and then you will be able to get access again in one month so because you will lose the information which is actually available using uh, much more uh, scalable and affordable and accurate tool and it's our mobile application so uh yes this is our two main parts which we'll focus on and then we have our slide of uh, pride or how to of corner yeah it's all our information about uh, what we have achieved as of now and what we hope to to grow out of so as of now we have uh, 76 reference papers uh, which have cited our mobile application as the main tool for leaf area measurement and dgci measurement and below this video, you can find the link to the full list of, of all these research papers. So please enjoy reading. They are all very interesting. They are in different languages. Um, like uh, English is most, uh, most of them are in English, but uh, there are some other languages like Spanish, Ukrainian, some Russian, some um, Indonesian, we also have some uh, a few papers in Italian, yeah, and probably I uh, and uh, from Thai, Thailand, yes, or Vietnam. Sorry, sorry, I I maybe will be a little bit mistaken about it, but uh, yes, we have a plenty of different languages, so just go and check. Yes, and that's it, probably. Yes. So now we will go to the most exciting uh, part of our. Uh, today's webinar and I will show you what we can do. So for real life demonstration, I will have this calibrating pad. I have this tomato leaf, oh, here tomato leaf, and uh, I have my mobile application. So this is my PTO Pro. Let's start from the beginning, from the dashboard. Here you can find the, ah, yes, and by the way, I will share this screen with you, so you will be able to see, share, share the screen, yes. So you will be able to see much better what I am doing. This is, was, actually, this was the initial plan. <laughs> okay, uh, so here we have our mobile application and our um, main screen, main dashboard. So this screen consists of two parts. First part includes the modules which you can use and the second part is all about foundation. Uh, it's a little bit advanced level. I will explain at the end of this practical session. So let's start with, uh, with overall basic level which you can use even now. So the first step for you is to get calibrating pad. Uh, here you see the calibration pad is available, so just press, uh, press the button. And then you can see the selection of different uh, uh, different calibrating pads of all our PTOs. But your task is to find that one, which is a PTO Pro calibration, which, is look, which looks like this. So please find it and print it out. Uh, you will, by the way, find two sides, so this one and this one. As you see, um, the, this part, this side, is created specifically for checking the accuracy. If you will look closer here, you will see that there are some uh, numbers about the area of the specific uh, circles. And if you will uh, make a photo and try to uh, calculate the area of these circles, you will find that and you will see the accuracy of uh, how your camera um, segments the make, makes some segmentation of these uh, um, circles and this uh, specific image. Yeah, so let's think that you have already done your printing and now you are ready to go. You are ready to start measuring. What do you need to do? You need to have your calibrating pad. By the way, in my case, it has these two uh, green markers. In the case of your uh, printing, you will not have it because these are specific colors which we 
um, use for DGCI measurement and uh, it's not available for uh, mainstream printers for general audience printers to print in such quality so that's why uh, this type of uh, calibrating pads are handmade and we are uh, delivering them upon requests so if you have a need of such calibrating pads uh, please let us know but uh, I will explain a different way how to measure this DGCI so don't worry about that yeah let's just focus now on leaf area so for leaf area uh, you need to have only these black uh, squares which are called markers there are eight markers, so your task is to place your leaf on the white area and uh, be sure that your leaf or any part of your leaves, uh, leaf is not covering any of markers, so markers must be visible. I mean, if you are holding it in your hands, you need to hold it like that and just make sure that all eight markers uh, are not covered with any leaf. And then you need to make a photo so you um, you made a photo and then you are uploading this photo into the mobile application so just press photo yes and here we are this is our leaf and this is our area of the leaf so according to the measurement it's 16.04 and if you will touch it and you will see the um, violet uh, border of the leaf, violet contour of the leaf. And then if you will scroll down, you will get the uh, measurement of this leaf in more details and you can see how good is segmentation or how not good is this segmentation. Um, this looks quite good, but we have also choice. So we can go to the segmentation number two. And in this case, the leaf area is slightly smaller. So in the first case, it was 16.04, but here we have 15.44. What's the problem? What's the difference? Let's go, let's just touch and see. According to this photo, the end of this leaf was not properly captured. It was not segmented. And here we, have, we see that leaf was like um, captured in a different shape and that's why we lost this 0 0.2 square centimeters at the same time this is not absolutely right so we need to go back to segmentation number one double check it yes here the full leaf is captured so now all we need to do is to save the measurement yes that's that's nice the job is done let's go and check what we have done where is our measurement? So we are going home and here we are. This is our measurement and you can copy it and use it uh, whenever you need and put it into your chart or your table. Yes, uh, this is one of the core uh, processes how to use leaf area uh, module and if you will master this uh, process you are almost done. You, you are doing absolutely fine and uh, this is the basic. However, if you have something which is more complicated, let's say you are measuring rice or you are measuring corn or you are measuring what, what else, something either long or big, you may uh, end up with the problem that this leaf will not fit into this tiny, let's say, tiny ca calibrating pad. What you can do? The solution is simple. You are taking the uh, scissors and cutting the uh, leaf into pieces and then just measure the pieces of uh, this leaf and then add all these areas. I will show you the different example with similar problem so we have a lot of its bamboo leaves uh, and bamboo leaves um, here you see uh, we need to measure them in one go so I just place them uh, each ne next to each other and uh, it was six leaves which I was able to fit into the 
the calibrating pad but uh, obviously if the leaves are white then maybe you will fit just two or three of them anyway the job was done in this case because as you can see the segmentation was perfectly fine to select uh, most of them properly first segmentation but there were some problems because for example for this case for these leaves the mod this the segmentation algorithm thought that two leaves create one and you can see that there is no separation between them that's why we can try and check the segmentation number two and in this case segmentation number two is better because you remember in our first example it was not very accurate but in this case it segments better and all the leaves are separated here you can see each leaf and we can save the measurement and the next one i just do it randomly i am not following specific task to make all the measurement just to demonstrate you how to look and then go home and get your leaves here all of them are here and you can press next and next and next and get your measurements fine this is leaf area and i think it's the basic questions which uh, we have as of now and now i can show you that using the same photo which you captured with this calibrating pad you can measure uh, dgci as well I will show you so here is our uh, tomato leaf and then you see these two uh, green markers they are visible they are visually accessible so all you need to do is just put uh, tap your finger on a leaf and you will see the DGCI index so actually um, to show you that it's not the same uh, value of the time I want to show you another one also this is we are saving it another one is saving it and then we also saving it and then if we will go back home here you will see the three pieces which we have saved and um, why they are different why the values are different it's all about the nature of uh, dark green color index and uh, overall give me a second yes and uh, overall the methods how to measure the level of nitrogen so you uh, here you have a specific square and you are measuring the uh, chlorophyll content actually in that square and if you will think about spot the this tool also measures the level of chlorophyll only in this small dot this small spot where the equipment is attaching to the leaf so you can't say that you are measuring the uh, greenness of the leaf or the greenness of the plant it will not be correct to say that because in fact the measuring is about uh, measuring specific spot or specific uh, area uh, since the um, the state and the amount of greenness in different places is different and as you see here and if, if you do the same with other tools you will see exactly the same uh, results so uh, this is one of the examples how you can measure greenness but also if you will have uh, our classical uh, color calibrating pad it's still possible to use it even with our uh, updated new uh, mobile app I will show you I will make a photo of uh, our uh, tomato leaf on this uh, classical calibrating pad our calibrating pad so now we need to we need to see it here yes here you see the uh, our tomato leaf on the calibrating color calibrating pad and the algorithm of your actions is exactly the same just touch somewhere 
for example here and you will see the result okay so now you have uh, understanding how to measure leaf area uh, in different cases and also how to measure DGCI in uh, having different uh, color calibrating pads uh, briefly I want to tell you about the uh, advanced level which we call foundation first of all it's about vision calibration so um, this module exists for understanding how accurately you have captured your calibrating pad. So, for example, if you uh, have covered, because sometimes the leaves are big or a little bit shapey, um, then you can cover one of the markers. In our case, you see all of the markers are visible. Uh, yes, even nine here, because we have eight of them, but the number is nine because even on top uh, there was uh, another calibrating pad which like not above and the photo captured it so uh, we made a good job and uh, didn't cover any marker so you can do the same just to check the next point is segmentation so in this uh, this aspect we can do the segmentation of uh, you, you can see that each step how the algorithm segmented uh, the image and how at the end of the day you get this in the future we hope to improve this process and bring some freedom for you to edit this and uh, make some improvements but as of now it's just the transparency of the process so you can check the segmentation modules they are different and uh, you can check the segmentation patterns here so just enjoy and um, explore it and finally we have color alignment it's all about color calibrating pad uh, pads and understanding uh, has the camera seen the green markers or not so let's check this one and here we have two of them because it was this color calibrating pad and here you see more details and the other one is also demonstrating the same two, two markers good if we we are checking for example the um, a new updated color calibrating pad it's again ah, even here you can see the markers eight markers and then you can see these two calibrating pads, uh, calibrating markers, green green color markers, which are also available. Yes, yeah, so basically this is, and yeah, yeah, no, no, not not the end because we have one more uh, very interesting thing. Um, let's say uh, helpful, practically helpful. So if you have a lot of measurements, and you need to delete some of them all you need to do tap it and hold it and again and again and as many as you wish and then you will see the number of um, measurements which will be deleted if you agree with this number press the button and they are deleted yes and uh, on the final moment i want to tell you if you wish to go back to pto pro of pre previous versions you always can go switch to pto legacy and you will get everything which we had before but currently we prefer uh, our new design and new module so please enjoy and use it as much as you want uh, and actually, yes, this is the end of our webinar. I would like to thank you one more time for for being here with us and for your interest in PTO. I hope our mobile application will help you to be more productive in your work. And yes, please, all the information which will be uh, supporting you in your PTO Pro journey below this video. Grow your plants happily and measure them accurately with PTO Pro. See you in the next webinars. Bye!